Can I ask you, Fred, to present that op opportunity by way of invitation? Um, to begin with, I just want to uh, give a little bit of instruction because there's a lot of people that have been trained in the world to um, look at God as being a very fearful thing. And to get born again by being, you know, afraid of God is, is, a, is a wrong mindset because he is a loving God. He loves you. He laid his son's life down as a propitiation, as a payment for your life so that you can miss hell and make heaven. <laughs> and so that's a big sacrifice and that's a big offer that he's making. And he's basically saying to you, give me your life and I will give you mine. We call that exchange. Uh, in fact, everything you get from God, it comes that way. I exchange my sin for his salvation. I exchange my sickness and disease for his healing. I exchange, I make, you know, I don't want to ch try to change myself because I'm a pitiful failure at that already. I know I can't do it. I therefore know I need a savior. And so today I just want to make you the offer that Jesus has made you and he did it because he loves you. And it's his love that cast out all fear. It's his love that will bring you into his presence with joy, unspeakable, full of glory. It's his, it's his love for you that was the payment that, that paved the way for you to be able to spend all of eternity with brothers and sisters like people that are on the screen tonight and with Jesus, our brother. And so I just, I just asked you, all you have to do is so simple. It's just, in fact, it's so simple that many people miss it. So simple. You simply ask him to exchange what you have for what he has, and he'll do it every time. And so bow your head with me, and let me just pray for you. You pray this prayer along with me. Father, I realize I need a Savior, and his name is Jesus is the only way that a man can make heaven, that a person can be saved. And so I'm asking you to save me, Lord, tonight, today. Wherever I am, I know you can do that. And so I give you my failures. I give you my sin in exchange for your salvation, your fullness, and your love. I receive it freely because your word says that I can have it. So I receive it and thank you. Thank you for it. Thank you. Because from now on, I can hear your voice and I can follow your word. And I know that I will be safe and full and free in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you just said that prayer for the first time today, then you just got born again. What? What? <laughs> what? I got born again? Yeah, you got born again. You know, the Bible, Jesus said, um, unless you are born again, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. He says that in John chapter 3, I think it is. John chapter 3, verse 3 and 7 or 4 and 7, something like that. What does this mean that you just got born again? Well, it means, as I said before, you get your ticket to heaven. Send us an email to gfcd.sozo, S O Z O, at gmail.com. If you didn't pick that up, rewind this video and play it again. <laughs> and uh, we'll put you in touch with someone in your local area. Over you, Gloria. Mm -hmm. So we'll just uh, close in prayer. Thank you to all those who've been watching on in what we call the third dimension, and especially thank you to all the ministers on the screen. We really appreciate you giving your time. and We know that you're a busy people. So, Father God, we thank you so much for this precious time together. We thank you that the word has been spoken and goes out into the world and continues to bring life to those people who hear it and receive it. We thank you, Father God, for all the blessings that you pour out to us through your son, Jesus. And we close this Bible study in his precious name. Amen. Amen. 
Okay, well, that's it from us for today. Just take notice of where you've been watching us. We'll be back this time next week for another GFCD Q&A Bible study. Uh, thank you. Big kiss to everybody, including all the ministers on screen. Virtual hugs to everybody. And we'll see you guys this time next week. Bye, everybody.